Hey, hey, come and have a look at this. Here it is, perfect pork belly. The key to a good pork belly is to dry out the skin as much as possible, put it in the fridge, salt it, put it back in the fridge again, use lots of paper towel and get all of the water out of that skin. And then we put a little bit of olive oil on. We will put some more salt. And then you wanna make sure that your, your meat underneath is a tender as well. So you want a really crunchy skin, crispy skin, and then you want beautiful tender meat underneath. The key to the tender meat underneath is obviously your seasoning, your salt, pepper, herbs and spices, which will create lots of juices. I'm not gonna cook it on a wire rack. It sits on a flat tray, and that way the meat will cook and absorb all those juices. We need about 45 minutes at 220 degrees for the top to cook and get that top nice and crispy. The flatter your pork belly, the better it'll be, the more even it'll be. And then we're gonna turn it down for about another hour um, at a lower temp, probably around 160, 170, uh, and let that cook. And then it will be resting and ready. <laughs> Hey, hey, come and have a look at this. Perfect crackle. Let's give it a bit of a, you can't even, you can't even cut it. It's so, it's so crackly. Rest it there for a while. Beautiful, crunchy, crackling and tender, soft meat. All that blackness is coming off the herbs, the spices and the salt. Absolutely. The meat is so tender. And the pork crackle. Have a look at that. Some people use vinegar with it. All different types of things to get it crunchy, but that's how I make my crackle. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly will. Thanks for watching.